Okay. Uh, hello, Moses. Uh, welcome. Um, thanks for joining us for this interview. This is an interview for the pandemic project at the Archives of American Art, Smithsonian Institution. And today is August 28th of uh, 2020. Um, if you can start by introducing yourself uh, and just let us know how you've been doing. Okay, well, my name is you know, Moses Ross. I am a Latino artist living in New York of uh, Dominican descent. And um, you know, it's been a challenge being cooped up at home and having limited contact with uh, the outside world and friends and family. Um, but I try to adapt as best as I can to the situation and respond to the situation as well. So those are what, that's what I've been, you know, working on, just adapting. Mm -hmm. in, uh, in what ways have you adapted both uh, personally and if you're in your art and your practice? Uh, in my art and practice, I wanted, I, I responded to, when I first started to respond by doing drawings um, on in a notebook, which I have some examples here. So I'll show that because I think this is uh, something that'll be um, helpful. Mm -hmm. So you can see this one is, uh, is called uh, So This, which is about social distancing and these figures in their bubbles so that everybody has to, you know, separate themselves from other people so that they don't get ill. And then this one um, uh, called... Uh, uh, what is it called? Shingpa? <laughs> the, yeah, exactly. The, and that's uh, sheltering at home, little houses there. Um, and then, of course, when the pause hit, I did pause on. So you have a figure sort of between two portals, sort of frozen in time there, you know, until we can get back into the groove of, of regular living. And then the, this other, I have more, but I guess this is a limited selection of uh, uh, vital or vital, uh, ese, which uh, means uh, like essential worker. So that's an essential worker. They've been uh, doing extraordinary work in this uh, difficult time. So I, that's how I started, you know, black paper, red pencil to the uh, bring out the emotion of, of the moment. Yeah. Um, you mentioned earlier before we were recording that you've been fortunate to have your studio at home. Um, and right now you're in the Bronx in your home. Um, how has that helped you or how has that been uh, for you during this time being able to access your, your studio? Well, that has been very, very good. You know, I, I'm so blessed that I have that. Um, I just have it, my studio at home because it's just easier for me to to get my work done. But um, and now when I can't go out, it's it's perfect. And so I have everything here that I need and I can uh, produce work. I've done some other things as well um, where um, I've been a part of the uh, an exhibition at uh, Sanford University in Alabama that's up now where they about, this was in relation to social justice and I did a print, which I can I can show you if you want or you do. Okay. Yes, that would be great. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. No, no, because um, I'm just trying to, um, you know, make it more interesting. So here is the uh, is the print of when it's a uh, kneeling figure taking a knee, and then above it says class. And then in the middle, it's race broken into two. And then the, the bottom is power. It's about starting the conversation, how to address this uh, uh, situation that we're in. And when there was uh, uh, storefronts in, the, in downtown that were broken, they put up well, plywood uh, to protect it. The artists went out and started doing uh, work on, on, these ply on the plywoods. And this is uh, taking a knee, but he... He's like an atlas. He has the weight of the world on his shoulders there. Mm -hmm. So that was that one. And then there was a show over at the uh, Sugar Hill Museum 
about social justice called Black is Beautiful. And uh, I did this painting on a, on a plywood uh, of that print. So I mm -hmm. translated that print into this uh, eight by four foot uh, painting. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, those have been some of the things that have kept me going. Uh, those pa those paintings are going to are in the window of the museum because the museum's closed right now, but you can access it from the street, and it's up, you know, twenty four seven. So people can can still see art and uh, at least reflect and and have some culture in this in this difficult time. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. Um, I'm wondering um, what your observations are um, about these issues that you're mentioning right now, uh, as well as the, the intersections between, you know, the crisis, uh, the pandemic crisis um, on, and the levels of, of crisis around uh, race um, that we've well, been seeing I, in the last few months. Yeah, well, I mean, it's, it's very difficult because I have lost, uh, some people to COVID and as, as I mean, just a couple of days ago, somebody passed away from, from COVID that had been in the hospital for a while. And, um, you know, learn of other people, family members who have passed. Uh, and then when you see what's going on on the, uh, when you watch uh, people being uh, killed uh, at the hands of police, uh, it's, you know, it's just a very uh, dark time so uh, this helps me to sort of, uh, you know, cope with it where I can express myself and it helps me, you know, personally. And then I'm hoping that I can also, with that expression, help other people to, that'll see that and maybe uplift them out of this darkness. Um, and have you found any particular ways, um, in addition to the art, um, as ways of caring for yourself and uh, the people around you? Other ways? Uh, well, I mean, we're more doing things together, you know, uh, meals and just, you know, my family members, you know, uh, hanging out together um and and doing things together as opposed to you know i'm a person that likes to go out places <laughs> mm -hmm. so now i'm li very limited in 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 doing that so uh we ju just very close to home maybe take a walk to the park uh things like that uh very very extremely local uh activities mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um and and how has um you mentioned you're in the Bronx, um, and I know you you work also a lot in that area. Um, what what have you been seeing uh, in your in your area, and what conversations have come up uh, with people around you? Uh, in this area, well, it's uh, I've been talking to people, but you know everybody's wearing a mask. You know, like my neighbors, and everybody's sort of keeping their distance. So communication is not so easy between people too, because you like you have this mask on and you know, voices are muffled and you can't really understand all the time what everything is said. Um, but we're you know just um, just waiting to get through this. We're hoping that uh, you know we'll you know see the light at the end of the tunnel. Um, where I mean people have been hopeful. And they've been, at least the people I've been with have been following the guidelines, you know, of mass, social distancing, et cetera, washing your hands. So um, they're following that, the science and hoping that we'll be able to, to get out of this thing, uh, you know, sooner than later. Yeah. Um, I want to uh, go back a little bit to some of the works that you showed on the camera. Okay. Um, and you mentioned there's a piece that you sent uh, to an exhibition, um, and the one that says race. Right, that's the print. Um, yes, the print. It was, um, actually the name of that print is Rebirth of Our Nation. And um, it's a linoleum print 
Let me, uh, mm -hmm. let me see if I, that can. Uh... Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and um, you know the the figure is you know as, uh, you know taking a knee, but he has a heart uh, in his, uh, right on the chest, showing that everything is coming from from love, uh, and you know the opposite of hate to try to bridge the gap that, that's going on right now and bring people together and not divide them. So these themes, you know, class, race, and power need to be talked about and discussed uh, between everyone so that we can understand and, and take action so to better our society. Um, the, 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 the letters themselves, I purposely use like sort of graffiti style letters to as a more type of uh, universal language as graffiti is now global and it comes from, it's like a grassroots uh, a movement that has gone global. And so uh, I want it to be the language, uh, the expression to be universal. And that's why I did it that way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. And then sure. I'm going to show you the other one again. So yeah. this one, just so you know, this painting is based on that print. So from that black and white print, then I translated it into a color painting and give it a lot of energy and vitality uh, and energy to, to that message. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thanks. Um, I guess I'm, I'm thinking about, you know, there's so much content in, in those pieces. Um, and also, um, I think, imagination about what the future holds. Um, I'm wondering if you can tell me a little bit more about how you imagine things going forward, not just for, for the political moment, I guess, but also for your art. Uh, well, right. I mean, in terms of um, the type of art I'm doing right now is because of what's going on in society. Uh, so it's very uh, uh, specific to that. Uh, what I'm hoping is that it'll eventually things will um, become more universal and not so specific to this situation. But the situation that's going on is is, is uh, I, I don't know how to, uh, to say it, but it needs to be addressed. And um, it's been like in terms of social justice, this has been going on for a long time. And um, now people, they were at home, they saw what was going on and, and there was a reaction. And, and there's been global support where people are, you know, uh, putting up signs of uh, Black Lives Matter, you know, around the world. So it's not just in, in this country, uh, but around the world who are um, doing this. And I'm hoping that there'll be more understanding and more um, of trying to find solutions to that. And, and in my work, I would like to express those solutions, you know, where people are united uh, in harmony. I know it sounds a little idealistic, but ultimately um, as human beings, as we see now, we're missing that social contact and we really need one another. So that's the way humans are. And I'm hoping that they will, uh, they will, you know, people will be able to understand that and understand that we need to uh, do better than what we have done in the past. And I hope my work will be able to respond to that, uh, that feeling. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you so much, Moses. Um, is there anything that I didn't ask you today that you would like to uh, record during this interview? Um, well, um, I don't know. I just have to, you know, experience the moment, you know, it's like we're living in this moment and I'm responding to this moment. Um, and it's something that that's the way, you know, I am. I, as an artist, uh, I want to reflect my times and hopefully make the world a better place through my work. Um, and that's what I'm, I'm trying to do. Why, like, you know, like with that colorful piece, 
I want to, you know, bring joy, even though it's a very, um, um, you know, serious subject matter. But I think we can still be, uh, you know, positive and 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 uh, and look to to a better future. Thank you so much. Thank you. I, this is great.